to the center of Trump, moves to the center, but Trump is only speaking to his base because he only knows his base. There are plenty of examples. And by the way, Ryan, I can still do two more, Gary than Joe Biden's. But the reason why you're now actually losing is because of you, sir, your attributes, how you carry yourself. All right. This is uh, Frank Lunds talking to Donald Trump if he were his advisor. And the public's desire to get away from that. If he doesn't change his tune, she doesn't need to move because he's only talking to the people who already agree with him. And that is a surefire way, way to lose this election. Okay, got some other links lined up here. All right, Andrew Clavin talking to Megyn Kelly. Or they actually think of it as creating this fantasy atmosphere in which we're supposed to vote. I mean, consider, look at this, Megyn, you know, one week- Right, it, it is weird that uh, Kamala Harris is all about the, the joy because that's never been a word that people have used with Kamala Harris before but it's only because of the situation, all right? When you've been saddled with Joe Biden as your nominee, then Democrats are understandably depressed. And only in reaction to to that situation and him finally stepping down and you get another candidate, then, yes, there's going to be an overflow of joy. There's nothing inherent about Kamala Harris that brings joy, though she is telegenic, right? She does have youthful energy. And compared to who she's set against, right, she can look attractive. So... Against the Josh Shapiro, she doesn't look so so attractive, right? She looks frumpy. But next to a Tim Walls, she looks great. We're being told that Joe Biden is the smartest guy in the room. He's sharp. He's on top of it. He hasn't lost any of his skill. He's better. This is the best Joe Biden we've ever had. The next day, I mean, two days after the debate, his debate with Trump, suddenly the guy is a drooling fool who's got to step down, who's dragging the entire party with him. 